Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we're gonna to be talking about the paint by number sets and how you can use them for homeschool art and all kinds of things. And I've had a lot of questions about getting started with these because you guys have seen me use them on Instagram. And I'm gonna kind of just go over how to get started in this and answer a lot of the frequently asked questions that I get on that platform about this and how I get the best results. So let's go over how to get into the paint by number sets first. Now quick before I get into that, make sure that you head over to the link in my description. I have a free homeschooling group on Facebook for all of my subscribers and you guys can come in there and chat, ask questions about homeschooling or curriculum or whatever you may have questions about and you can meet a whole bunch of new friends. So let's talk about the basics of paint by numbers. Paint by numbers is a hobby that is relatively cheap to get into. You're gonna spend maybe five to $20 on each painting. And with that, you're going to get the painting itself. You're going to get a couple of paint brushes and you're going to get all the paint that you would need to finish the painting. They usually take several hours minimum to complete. I usually do them over the course of a month and I like to take my time on them and I'll spend anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour or two on them several times a week. Now, they are made to be more of impressionist type art and what I, what I mean by that, and I will show you here, is that from several feet away, they look amazing. If you look up real close though, you can kind of see you know, the lines are a little bit messy and things like that, that's totally okay. So when you're making these, especially when you're a first timer with one of these, just know that when it's on the wall and you're stepping back from it, it's going to look completely different. So this is the one that I completed over the winter time. And I kept this up all during the winter season this year. And I love this painting. This was one of my very favorites. So I'm going to show you the three ways that most paint by number sets come in the mail and you're going to see the differences between those three and I'm gonna unbox one so you can see what that looks like. So here we have the three types of paint by numbers that are gonna come in packaging. Now, this one I've already opened, but this one and this one just came in the mail yesterday. So when you buy a paint by numbers, it's typically gonna come in one of these three types of packaging. And we're gonna go over these three and why the packaging makes such a big difference. So most paint by numbers are going to come in this type of packaging. And as you can see, it's not folded or it's not rolled, it's folded, which can cause creasing. Now there are ways to get the creases out of these, but most of these come from China and most of them come in some type of folded type package. Now this is my least favorite, but I do have some tips to show you how to fix this if yours comes like this. The other, these two types are the more expensive ones, but they're worth it because you're not gonna have to worry about creasing like this one over here. So this one will come rolled like this. And there's usually a foam piece that it comes rolled around and then you just unroll it and you're good to go. Now that's pretty easy. This one I've been working on as you can see, but there was no creasing with this package here and that made it really super easy for me. This one I have not taken out of the box yet, but this one is different because this one is framed. So this one here that is rolled and this one here obviously are not framed as you can see. But, and you will have to buy your own frame for like 10 or $15 on Amazon and frame it yourself. This one comes pre-framed and so you don't have to buy that one. So actually this one is a better deal if you plan on doing any type of framing because the frame is already there. So let's go ahead and open this one and I will show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so here's the actual painting. 
and then there's plastic around it. And then when you turn it over, you can see the frame here. Here's all your paint. Here's the instructions. And it has a paper version of what is on the other side here. Now let's open this one up so you can see how this one comes because most of the paint by numbers that you order will look like this and there's no real way to know if the painting is going to come in a rolled version or a folded version unless you look at the comments. The comments will typically, someone will usually say in the comments whether or not there's creases from folding or whatever. But just because it does come like this doesn't mean that there's that you shouldn't buy it. I still buy these all the time. I just use the trick that I'm gonna show you to get the creases out. It's just one extra step. So this is what this painting looks like that I'm um, opening right now. If I can try to get it to focus a little bit, it's these really purple, pretty flowers. And we're just gonna unravel this. And so here is the paints and the painting, the canvas here, the plastic canvas was rolled around this stack of paints. And this is what this one looks like here. And obviously it's too light for you guys to see the numbers and things like that, which that's what you want because you want the paint to be able to cover it. So when you hang it up, you won't be able to see those lines. So it is supposed to be really light like this. So that's exactly what we want. Now in terms of pricing, this one is going to be the cheapest. I think I paid $6 for this one right here. And it is a little bit smaller as you can see than the, the one that I have right here. So it is a little bit smaller. So this is the edges. So this is what we're talking about. We're talking about a couple of inches. This one is probably a 12 by 14. Just guesstimating here, I'm not sure. This one is a 16 by 20. And most of the paint by numbers are going to be this size, a 16 by 20. But this one was cheaper and I really liked the image, so I bought this one for $6. So now I'm gonna roll this one back up and I'm gonna set it off to the side. So this one is going to be the most expensive along with this one. These were actually about the same price. There's a lot of paint by number sellers on Amazon. So whether or not it comes framed or rolled can have a difference in the price. So one of the things that I do, if my paint by numbers has come in a folded type of plastic and there's a crease, one of the things that I like to do is I will iron it. Now there's a special way to do this and I'm gonna show you how. So I have my iron here and it is on the lowest setting. I don't recommend doing anything other than the lowest setting on this because you could melt the plastic. The canvas is actually plastic. It looks like canvas and it feels a little bit like canvas, but there is a plastic layer in it and you don't wanna melt that. So I have my painting here and it is, this is where all the numbers and things are in the images. So that is face down. And then I have my kitchen towel that I'm going to put as just a barrier over the top. And this is thicker than a tea towel. This is more like a bathroom towel type of material here. And I'm just going to slowly run it over the entire painting. And then every minute or two, I'm going to check and see how it is. And already, this is so much better. That crease is completely gone now. So one of the things I wanna draw your attention to is the paintbrushes that will come with your packaging. So usually, in most paint by numbers, you're gonna get some kind of brushes. They're typically blue and they look somewhat like this. They will be some variation of these. It might not be these exact ones here, but they usually will come with some type of paintbrush. These paintbrushes are really cheap. We're talking like worse than dollar store type of paintbrushes. Now you can use these and I have used these paintbrushes for one paint by numbers, my very first one, before I knew better. 
and then I upgraded my brushes and I'll show you what I use now. So I have this set of precision brushes and you can see that I've used them because the bristles are a little bit uh, stained with different types of acrylic paint here. But this set I really like and I'll show you each one has that type of grip here and they all have really, really small bristles and they are made for modeling or for paint by numbers, anything where you're gonna be doing very small type of painting. Paint by number is really unique because you really don't need a whole lot to get started, including talent. So when I first started these paint by number sets, I had absolutely no skill or experience in painting. So this is not something that you need to feel like you need to know how to do before you jump into it. It is made for beginners, which is the great part about paint by numbers. So when you get a paint by number set, when you look at it, you're going to have different sections with different numbers on it. Each of those sections, you're going to paint with the paint that has the same number on it. So the red paint might be number 19, all the spots that you see a number 19 on, you will paint with the number 19 red paint. Super easy, super simple. You will need nothing but paint brushes, the paint that it comes with, and of course the canvas. And then if you're gonna hang it up, it may come pre-framed or you're going to want to get an additional frame to use to hang it on your wall. One of the questions that I guess get asked more than any other is, will the paint be enough to do the entire painting? I have done around eight different canvases now, and so far I have never once run out of paint. And that is even with me going over different sections with multiple layers of paint. So no, I have never run out of paint. If you do run out of paint, usually you can contact the company and they will send you more paint. And I have just seen that from reading comments on Amazon. It has never happened to me. And as long as you use the paint the way that you should and you're not um, overusing the paint for whatever reason or putting it on just way too thick, you're not going to have any issues running out of paint. Now, if you have the issue of still being able to see the number underneath the paint after you have already put paint on it, allow it to dry and then go back over it later with another additional thin layer of paint. Do not glob it on there but go over it with small layers one at a time. Eventually those layers will build up and you will see that the number will slowly start to disappear. And you're gonna find that with paint that might be lesser quality, which if you've bought a good painting, and when I say good, I mean the ones that are usually around $20 and up, or the ones that come framed, like the one I've showed in my video, this one here, these typically have better quality of paint, meaning that the paint isn't as thin and you're going to not have as much of an issue trying to cover up the number. Here is the tip though to get the best results. If you are still finding that paint is, is still visible and you're running out of paint, let's say you have a white, there is no rule stating that you can't use other acrylic paint. So I have a lot of acrylic paint at my house, so what I will do is I will get out my own white acrylic paint and I will use that because it's better quality, it's thicker, and I know it's gonna cover those numbers. And I have done that with one of my paintings before and that has cleared up that issue very well and I didn't have any other problems with it. Now the strategy that I use for paint by numbers is pretty easy. Usually when I start a brand new paint by numbers, the canvas is going to look like this. And usually what I'll do is I will start on one section. So I will start this one probably tonight and I will probably start in this upper corner and I will just do everything in one section at a time. So I'm not going through the entire painting making sure that I have all of the number 27s done. I will concentrate on one section at a time. So I'll do this small section and I'll spend maybe, you know, I don't know, however long it takes to do this section and let's just say an hour and it takes me an hour to do this grid. And I will sit there and I will do that grid and when that grid is all done, I will stop. And then I will go to the next section and then go to the next section and go to the next section. I like to go across and then down it to get all of the sections of paint to make sure that I don't miss any little tiny sections 
by the time the painting is done. And that seems to give me the best coverage and it seems to be the best strategy so I don't have, you know, just paint all over the place in different sections. Now you can do it however you want. I just, I just think it's a little bit more organized to do one section at a time and it's more interesting because I can really see that section of the painting come alive without having you know just little sections of one color all done at one time although i do know that some people will do like they'll find all the number ones and they will do all the number ones on the entire canvas and then they'll move to number two and do all the number twos i don't really like that one because it it's too easy to miss something like that and another tip i will give you too when you're doing your sections do the biggest sections the biggest areas of paint first so like this section is really large i know it's hard to see but i would paint this large section first and then i would do the small section so in your grid paint the sections that are the biggest first and then move to the smallest sections last and that seems to really give you the best coverage and that seems to give you the cleanest lines as well when you do it like that one thing about the paint too is make sure every time you put your paint away that you close the lid all the way. I have had an incident before where I thought that the lid was closed all the way and it wasn't and it sat overnight with just a little bit of opening on the pot and the paint almost completely dried out and it was really, it was like glue. It was really hard to use even though I added different things in there to try to, to get that paint to come back alive. It was very, very difficult to use for the rest of the painting and I was kicking myself. So make sure that you fully close the pots and that you double check the lids before you put your painting away every single time that you use it. This is such a great art to do for homeschoolers and it's a relatively cheap one that you can get into and you can do it with your kids and that is one of the things that i really like doing i like being able to do art with my kids and they see me doing art and that makes them want to do it too so this is a great one to do for your older kids so i did want to make that point this is a great homeschool art option for older kids so one thing about paint by numbers is Although it says adult on it, these are perfectly fine and well suited for teenagers as well. I know a lot of you have seen my other ones from Instagram and you've tagged me in posts with your kids doing them. This is a great one for older kids. Um, I want to say middle school and high school and even probably maybe some upper elementary could do some of the easier ones. The ones that don't have just super tiny pieces I think would be great for um, the younger crowd. but. Definitely high schoolers would love this type of art project. This is going to last them for many weeks, even a couple of months, depending on how long and how often they do it. And it's a really affordable option for some art for your homeschool. So if you're looking for something more out of the box and that really you can use as a keepsake for your home, because I hang these in my home when I'm finished with them, it's a great option for you to get into and with the price point the way that it is it is a really affordable option for art out there that isn't the normal like paper type crafts with glitter and things like that because the, you know the kids get older and they want to do different things and this is a great way to introduce them to painting so i hope that that answered all of your questions if you have more questions leave them down below i might do another video on this for just straight tips of paint by numbers and things that i do to get the best results on my paint by numbers let me know if you would like a follow-up video to this and i will get that done for you i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video happy homeschooling